Byron and Luke from the Burgundies, from well, uh, Wooden Manly Burgundies. You guys aren't called the Ron Burgundies by any chance, are you? No? I think it's probably not a bad idea. You know, stay classy. Hey, listen, fellas, last weekend, a close uh, loss. I think uh, you're up against uh, uh, the Muddies. Yeah, yeah. And the Muddies were too good for you. How did you go the week before, Luke? Oh, the week before, we got a win. It was, like, it probably took us too long in the end to get there. It was a small target. But, yeah, we got there in the end. Nail biter? No, not really. All right. Now, Byron, mate, uh, yourselves this weekend a, a loss, but that's the way it goes. Tell us about the Seagulls, mate. How did you end up at this club? Uh, playing my cricket juniors, and then this is my first club I think I played at. I've been here for like four years now. Oh, okay. So, Good on you. Yeah. So, yeah, no intention, no off contracts being no, just sort of really, any nose ring yet? No, just really. It'll come, mate. It'll come. Okay. Now, here you got uh, the Muddies boys last week. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, wet conditions. Now, you're a, a, a bowler, I'm going to guess. Uh, bowl about it, yeah. But an all rounder? Yeah. All right, mate. So, how you had to perform on the weekend? Yep, yeah. all right. I'm obviously, slippery in the field, it's kind of hard to judge the ball sometimes, but in the end, I think I did all right. Did you, what'd you learn from the game, mate? Tough to beat teams, even if they're a little bit worse than you, you still got to chase their runs, even though they get, well, I think, about 80 something, so yeah. still got to chase it to the end. All right. Luke, yourself, mate, uh, you're, you're uh, 14 for cricket, batsman or bowler? Oh, keep a batter. Keep a batter? Okay, so uh, you're better at keeping the batting? Mm, debatable, but some days. Some days? What, <laughs> mate, as a keeper, mate, what's the worst thing that you, you have from your bowlers? Is it inconsistency or is it a case of uh, uh, bowlers just bowling a little bit too short and, and you've got to panic oh, a bit? The legs are wide, never much fun. Okay, so, so not too many wides uh, from your, your blokes? Well, a couple here and there, but no, it'll be right. Do you give it to them? You give them the gloves, say, if you're going to bowl down there, you, you stop them? <laughs> no? Mate, what's the chat like behind the stumps? You a bit of a chatter? Oh, it's a positive stuff. Not much of a sledger, but every now and then. Every now and again, all right. Advice for your bowlers? Do you often spot a weakness with the, uh, with the uh, opposition batsman and pass it on to the bowl to a degree? Oh, yeah, every now and then. Yep, all right. Now, this weekend, who you got? Got our Redlands. Redlands at? At Redlands. At Redlands, underneath water. All right, now, yeah, uh, behind me is your uh, super coach. Yeah. Mate, is he any good? He's, he's all right. <laughs> all right. Have you got a nickname for him? He's getting closer, by the way. No. Uh, just coach. Just coach. I'm going to get coach in here, mate. If you want to jump in here, uh, in here, uh, Matt. Hey, listen. Uh, talk about the boys here. How much do you enjoy your coaching, mate? With the, with the young fellows, you just like seeing improvement from the start of the season to the end of the season. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the key thing. I think is. Um just letting everyone enjoy their cricket and seeing the improvement um, and you know hopefully everyone grows as a team and a little bit as individuals as well. Is there one thing that you see the first class players do that the, the young blokes try and incorporate and it's just a little bit too early that you've got to try and knock out of their game? No, there's, there's more things I'd like to knock into their game. Okay, probably, yeah. Probably the big thing is the running between wickets. That's, okay. you know, we always tend to leave a few runs on the field every, every innings. So yep. that's probably the big thing I'd like to try and uh, get younger kids to focus on a little bit. Now you're uh, you're talented, mate. Uh, you're a former first class player. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Um, no, <laughs> not, not quite. No. no, but that's doesn't mean John Buchanan, the, the super coach. He wasn't yeah. a first class player either. But uh, you enjoy the coaching. You rather obviously umpire rather than sitting on the sidelines. Yeah, no, I enjoy the coaching. I'm a I'm a third generation cricket tragic. So um, yeah, the. Byron, my son, had no chance. We're always going to be a cricketing family, right. and that's what we've been. So, all right. What did you uh, tell the boys after the loss on the weekend? I was actually really proud of them. I okay. thought they played a hell of a good game, yep. and they were just beaten by a better team. So we just said, uh, you know, a few things to work on the next week, and uh, chins up, and we'll get on with it next week. So. Tigers this weekend? Yeah, it'd be a tough one. Tough always one. a tough one. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Fingers crossed that. Who's the uh, skipper? Byron, mate. Uh, what do you call heads or tails? Heads. Head, what's your What's your strike rate? Uh, 50-50. What? No, it can't be right. Okay. We'll see how you go. Boys, all the best this weekend. Uh, don't worry about the muddies. That was last week. As long as you improve with every game. Thanks for talking to us on uh, Sea Eagles TV. Cheers. Thanks, man.